Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at 10. They don't even work there anymore, but they just were going to visit them and to see them again and just like check up and see how they're doing. Despite losing their jobs, many former Elam Rehab and Care Center workers are still reaching out to those they care for. Nearly 200 staff members found out yesterday it was going to be over a year before Elam would reopen after extensive fire damage. Valley News Team's Courtney Locke spoke with some of them who say the people of Elam will always be their family. Caring, compassionate, family, a great place to work. Those are the most common ways that former workers we talked to described what Elam was all about. I liked really working here very much. After three years as a receptionist, Charlene Windish was one of the many people who found out Thursday would be her last day. She says events in recent days have been tough, especially with her mom getting care at Elam for over five years. She's kind of a peop people person. She's been declining in the last few years, but she's uh, still likes to have people around her so seeing familiar faces was really nice. Her mom's room was amongst those hit hardest by fire. Windish says she knows firsthand how important staff members are. My great grandma's here, my grandma was here, like she worked here, my mom worked here, my aunt worked here, and my cousin worked here, and I work here. Oh, right too. Staff like Kinsey Johnson and members of her family also lost their jobs and yet are still visiting people they cared for. Formed pretty good relationships with um, everyone, like the workers and the patients and everyone here. So it's kind of sad to see that go. Like many who worked at Elam, Johnson says she's not sure what's next. Whatever it is, she says she'll always keep in touch with those she met there. In Fargo, Courtney Lockie, Valley News Live. Elam officials are encouraging former staff members to take on new roles at locations where residents have been placed. They're also going to provide financial support and benefits in the coming months to help with the transition. 